it is true that for physics you need some trig but I'm just going to show you the bare minimum that you need and I really want to focus on what is going on here and I think that really helps to understand what's why we need it um, don't worry about double angle formulas law of sines and cosines and all that all we need to know and understand is sine cosine and tangent I think you're gonna be fine so I made I made some triangles here because trig is all about right triangles um, I'm gonna go ahead I want to measure uh, some things on these triangles and I'm gonna do it in real life I, I made I made some of these triangles this is do it real quick so I'm gonna measure all of these angles and I'm gonna measure the sides let's do it okay so right over here I have uh, an actual protractor I'm gonna put that right there so I might not be perfect right here but it's okay so then this goes from zero it looks like it's about 63 I'm gonna say 63 degrees now this one is 63 degrees this one is six, I made these the same hint 63 okay so those are all 63 this one's not um, right there I get 54 let's go with 54 now these are right triangles those right angles that you could measure that but I'm telling you that's true and I don't care about the other angle right now next what I want to do is measure the lengths of these sides so I'm gonna use uh, centimeters it doesn't really matter what you use but uh, so let's just measure these really quickly. I'm doing this live. I'll do it live. So I get 3.6. I'm in all in centimeters. 3.6. 5.8. It's kind of hard to see. Just trust me, though. And if I'm off a little bit, that's fine. 8. Point eight. Okay, now on this one. Uh, that's really close to seven. Six point nine. Now let's measure the verticals. Oh, I should have done this beforehand. I don't know why I'm actually measuring alive. It's just a really bad mistake. Nine point four. <clears throat> You know, you, you have these ideas, and sometimes you think, oh, that'd be a great idea. Let's just do this. And it'd be fun, right? So we'll just show you how, how real it is. 6.8. Um, 10.9. These are all in centimeters. 16.9. Seven or six, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's hard to see. It really is hard to see these. Um, okay, now I'm going to measure all the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse says, what's the plural of hypotenuse? It's a hypotenuse. I don't know. So let's see, that looks like uh, 7.6. Trust me, this is going to make a lot of sense when I'm done. And yeah, I could have done this beforehand. It totally could have. 12.4. And, oh, I got two more to go. Um, 18.7. And then one more, and then we can start doing some fun stuff. I know you're thinking, this is fun. I agree, it's kind of fun. 11.6. Okay. Now, calculator. Suppose I look at this angle, and I label that is the opposite side and that is the hypotenuse so let's take op the ratio of opposite divided by hypotenuse i'm going to do it for all of these triangles this one opposite divided by hypotenuse six oh clear 6.8 divided by 7.6 equals it's 0 0.89 0 0.89 and you'll notice that it has to be less than one right because the hypotenuse has to be longer than that length it has to be because that's the right triangle right angle okay so remember that number i'll put it up here uh, 0 0.89 now let's do this one uh opposite 
0.9 divided by 12.4 equals 8 0.87, 0 0.88, close, very, very close. And now let's do this one, clear uh, 16.7 divided by 18.7. 0.89. So all of these triangles have the same opposite over hypotenuse. They all have the same. It doesn't matter how big it is. It depends on, because they're all similar triangles, they have similar ratios. Now this one's different, right? Let's do this one. So if I do this one and I do opposite 9.4, that's 7, 9.4 divided by 11.6, I get 0.81. So this one is 0 0.81. It's different because it's a different triangle. Okay. So the trig is about these right triangles. It turns out that if I know this angle is the same, then the ratios of opposite over hypotenuse is the same, which is really useful. Okay. So how do you know? How do, what if I don't know the triangle? I can still know the ratio. And that's the trig function sine. So if I take the sine of the angle 63, I get that. We define sine as opposite over hypotenuse. So let's just do that real quick. I'm in degrees mode. Yes, I am. So if I do uh, six sine 63 equals 0.89. You see that? Isn't that kind of cool? Now, I do want to show you something really interesting because what is this calculator doing? How does it get that number? I mean, there's a couple ways. There's a, there's a couple ways to do it, but but the the oldest way is you can see in this book. So this is the uh, the 28th edition standard math tables book, and it's got a whole bunch of awesome stuff in here, um, blah 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 calculations and stuff. But this is what I want to show you. Look up here. No, that's not. Oh, it is trig functions. So this says if I have a degree of 63, I can look up in this table. Let's go down here, 10, 30, this is, this is all one table, 45. Okay, so it only goes, well, it, it goes up to higher numbers over here. Well, you, there's a trick, you can get that. Okay, but you can look up the angle and it tells you the value of sine and you can just look it up. So it's really just a look up table. Now your calculator might be doing some different maths to get that, but it, it could just, it's easy just to do look up table. So there's just a table built into the calculator. And I, I don't know that that's 100% true, but that's the basic idea. So uh, now let's go backwards. Because what we'll often do is to say, what if I know the length of the side and I know the angle, could I find that opposite side? And the answer is yes, I could. But before I do that, let's go ahead and look at the other two functions. So we have sine, um, cosine, cosine is actually that is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse. And then tangent is equal to the opposite over adjacent. And you do need to memorize those, um, but that's not too bad. So let's just check this. Let's check it for this one. So adjacent over hypotenuse, here's the adjacent side, 6.9, and that's hypotenuse, 11.6. Let's take that ratio, 6.9 divided by 11.6 and I get 0.59. Now let's take the cosine of this angle 54. 50, cosine 54 equals about the same thing. So that works. Now let's try tangent, just, just to be fun. And we'll go down to this, we'll use this triangle right here. Opposite, so this is the opposite angle divided by the adjacent. So I'm gonna take 10, now you notice that this one can be greater than one. Cosine cannot, sine cannot, but because they're ratios, the ratios of sides for a right triangle. Okay, so this one I have a 10.9 divided by 5.8. 10.9 divided by 5.8 equals 1.88. And then if I do uh, tangent of 63, 1.9. Okay, that's a bit off, but it because of my measurements. Okay, so now let's say that I want to do the use a function. So let's go back to the same triangle. I want to. I'm just going to draw this one. So let's say this is the angle theta, this is uh, S, and I want to find, um, let's call that O and A for opposite and, and, and adjacent. Let's say I know S, I want to find O. If I do that, I can say the sine of theta is equal to opposite over S, and I know S, 
and I multiply both sides by s, I get O is s times the sine, that's, that, that was a bad choice, O equals s times the sine of theta. And so now let's put, let's do it for this one. So I'm going to use s is 12.4 and theta is 63. So clear, what did I just say? Is the angle is 12.4. So I'm going to say 12.4 times sine of 63. And I get 11.0, so 10.9. Pretty good, okay. Now, you can also go backwards, right? We can do inverse sine to, uh, trig functions. Suppose I know uh, these two sides, I want to find the angle. Well, then I could say the sine of the angle is equal to O over S, how do you get theta all by itself? Well, you can't divide by sine because it's not, it's not a number. It's an operation. So I have to unoperate it. And we do that with the inverse sine. So if I take the inverse sine of both sides, the inverse sine of the sine is equal to theta, but that's equal to the inverse sine of O over S. So let's just check if that's true for this triangle. So I'm going to take uh, 10.9 divided by 12.4 and then take the inverse sine. I should get something close to 6.3, but again, I just measured these. So I'm going to say inverse sine of 10.9 divided by 12.4. I get 61.5. So close. I'm, I'm happy. Happy enough. Okay. Let's, this is not a full trig, right? So let's just review what we need to know. Sine, let's, if I have a right triangle, I'm going to now call this uh, theta, uh, A, B, and C. Sine of theta is equal to B over C, right? The opposite over adjacent. Cosine theta is equal to A over C, adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent theta is equal to uh, opposite over adjacent, B over A. And we're not going to use secant, cosecant. Um, we're not going to use those. You don't need those. Uh, there's an, one more feature that will come up every once in a while, and it's the Pythagorean theorems. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. That's a Pythagorean theorem. Um, but that's it. Important thing to know is that these are ratios. Ratios. And ratios do not have units. Whatever this triangle is, it could be a distance triangle, a speed triangle, a force triangle, it doesn't matter, but these are gonna have the same units. When I take the ratio, the units cancel. So I get a unitless quantity, unitless, unitless. Um, the other important thing, sine of theta and cosine of theta uh, have to be between negative one and one. You can't have a negative one, right? Because imagine I have this is my x-axis and I'm over here. So I want to know my x and my y and there's my theta. Uh, this is, doesn't look like a right triangle, but it is. And if I drop down my opposite side, it'd be right here. And that has a negative x component. So you can get negative values for these sines and cosines and tangents. Um, just be aware of that. But you can't, you can't take the inverse sine of five. Right, because that says what angle gives you a sign. When you take the sine of it, you get five. You can't do that. That would be having this longer than that, and then it's not a right triangle. Okay, uh, one last thing, radians versus degrees. Whatever angle you use, whatever units you use, make sure that your calculator is in the right unit. So here's mine right here, degrees. If for this one to switch degree modes, um, boom. Don't remember how to do that. Uh, mode, 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 mode. Psi engineering. I don't really use the calculator that much. Don't really know. Store on reset fix answer. Someone's probably looking at it saying it's right there. I really want to find it now. What's this do? Hmm. K. E. Mem bar store recalls reset fix answer. 
I know it's in here somewhere. Well, what's this do? No. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Okay, hopefully that helps. Trig functions. There's a whole much more, but that's just the most important thing.